An intersection simply refers to the set of points that are shared between elements. Okay, and so the intersections can be points. They can also be lines. <coughs> On page 7, there's an illustration of the different ones that I'm going to talk about, but I just want to show them as far as what they'll look like sketched out. If you have two lines, do two lines have to intersect each other? No. There's two different cases where they don't. What's this one called? You're familiar with it probably. Parallel lines will not intersect each other. Okay. There's another set of lines that won't intersect each other that we'll talk a little bit more about, I believe, in the next section. <coughs> But if you have, uh, let's say, a line represented here on this three-dimensional representation and a line right here, okay, these are not parallel lines. Okay, however, are they ever going to intersect? No. It would kind of be like if this pen and this pen extended infinitely in each direction, they're never going to cross each other. They could be this close to each other and never intersect. Okay, that would be the other case. Um, if lines do intersect and they're two distinct lines, the intersection is what element? Monica? So the, the relationship might be perpendicular, but what is the shared, the shared element is a, a single point. I mean, it, when you're naming angles, it would be referred to as a vertex. Okay, but <clears throat> if two, line, two distinct lines intersect each other, they intersect, they must intersect at a point. Hey, what if you have three lines intersecting? Okay, so if three lines meet one another and share one common point, the, or one common element, that element will be, again, a point. So if two or, two or more lines intersect, they will intersect at a single point. And hey, what about planes? So if I rewrite this block again, if you take any two planes, so let's say this face and this face, <clears throat> the shared elements between those are going to be what? Where the intersection where those two planes meet would be a line. So two planes, if they intersect, will always intersect at a line. Okay, often you're going to see uh, planes represented again in three dimensions so here's one plane and then the side plane intersects this way can everybody see or imagine how that intersection occurs okay. so if planes intersect they intersect at a line okay, what if you have three planes intersecting okay, so again if we took this top plane this side plane, and let's say this front plane. And here's a case where do all three of these planes have any common elements? They share this single point, and that's it. Okay, so it's possible for three planes to intersect at a single point. <clears throat> it's also possible, however, for three planes to intersect in the following way. Okay, so here's one plane. Let's say we have another plane that kind of extends up here. So these are two planes intersecting at a line. Well, what if we put another plane through here? So let's say we have this th third plane kind of fanning out. It fans along this same shared element. So three planes, it's also possible for three planes to intersect at a line. Yeah, and by this shape. It might look like this plane and this plane. Oops, this one in the far back. Only intersect at this one common point, right? Kind of looks like that. But keep in mind, this green is not really limited just to this triangular region. I mean, it's really... I mean, it extends infinitely in all directions. So where it looks like it just meets right here, it's actually going to pass through the brown plane at a single line as well. Um, 
it would be kind of like saying if you took this and extended into this rectangular form and then you did the same thing with this brown plane it's a rectangular form here is the intersection it's still a line okay so two planes always intersect at a line if they intersect will intersect at a line three planes can either be intersecting at a single point or at a common line the final relationship is if you have a plane and a line does not lie on that plane but it intersects it will intersect it at a single point. <clears throat> okay, so again, the chart there, and it has illustrations of each, uh, kind of show the different possibility of the way elements intersect. Be prepared for kind of uh, questions regarding those. So questions such as uh, two planes, if two planes intersect, they intersect at A, and you have to choose the right element. <clears throat>